So my presentation is, is on Jean-Jacques Rousseau. He was an 18th century philosopher um, that was very influential during the Enlightenment period and the start of the French Revolution. Um, the, main, the main point of his philosophy is that he thought that people were born naturally good. Um, he thought that they later became corrupted by society. Um, he thought that people learned bad habits from living in the city, which is why he preferred children to be brought up and educated in rural environments. The key part of his philosophy is what is called naturalism, and there's three concepts to that. Um, the first one is called natural state. Um, that's a simple farming community or state that is away from larger cities and the evils that come along with it. The second one is called natural man. Uh, Rousseau believed that men um, were meant to be in their natural state, um, and this meant that they were governed and directed by laws of their own nature rather than those of social institutions. And the third one is called natural civilization. This is just simple farming life. So Rousseau's concept of education, there's three concepts. The first one is called education from man, um, which consists of influencing from social contacts and various groups. Um, the second one is called education from nature, which Rousseau considered a top priority. This is a child's natural tendencies and interests. And the final one is called education from things. This is knowledge acquisition and information through contact with our physical surroundings and our experience of dealing with things and objects. So there's what's called negative education, um, and there are six characteristics of it. And these are all part of key aspects of education that Rousseau did not favor. So that's time saving, book learning, formal lessons, habit formation, social education, and formal discipline. And I'll get, I'll touch base on those in just a minute. So his methods of teaching, um, like I just said, he did not favor formal lessons. He thought that children should learn best by doing, and they learn by experience. Um, and that experience should be direct. Um, he thought that knowledge from books um, was secondhand and easily forgotten, which is why he did not favor book learning. He thought that books had no value, and he thought that knowledge that is learned through various situations is more permanent. So the big one of his biggest teaching methods is what's called individualized instruction. Um, this is becoming increasingly more common in today's classrooms. Um, this is when a teacher recognizes the individuality of a child and they teach individualized instruction based on that child's um, needs and interests and capacity. Um, he, Rousseau thought that ignoring a child's nature was an educational error and teachers were meant to observe a child and adopt measures to, um, to adopt that individualized instruction. He did not place a big emphasis on teacher's role. Um, he thought that the teacher was meant to be more of a guide than an instructor. Um, so this, this fourth teaching method is what's called the heuristic method, and he greatly favored this. Um, this is when a child is placed in the position of a discoverer. Um, so, so if you want a child to learn more about geography, Rousseau didn't want you to just set him in front of a map and, you know, learn geography that way. He wants you to take the child outside and learn and let them learn by exploring their surroundings. So his next teaching method is he wants example. He thought that example is better than precept. And this is moral education. Um, he believed that teachers should, should teach morality and provide students opportunities to practice virtue. And the last one is called social participation. This is during a period of a child's adolescence. Um, he thought that knowledge comes from social relations, and that means that, that children actually have to go visit places and establish contact with community members. 
So every philosophy, every philosophy has has its criticisms. Um, there's there's three criticisms that I want to discuss. The first one is many believe that Rousseau's um, philosophy is not gender neutral, and it's not. Um, he thought that females were meant to be educated and governed by their husbands. He thought that they were meant to be weak and passive. And he thought that they should be brought up in ignorance and basically they're good for housework. Um, so you can imagine how well this goes over with feminists today. <laughs> um, I went over what was called negative education and the characteristics that he did not favor. And there are many... Um, um, many critics, critics that believe that he focuses entirely on the negative and not the positive. Um, and I think that's just how they see things. Um, you know, instead of maybe saying, you know, formal lessons not favored, you know, book learning not favored, instead, you know, say why, you know, you know, in place of book learning, what did he favor? In place of formal lessons, what did he favor? So it's all just kind of in the way you look at things. Um, the last one is um, many believe that the, he has a faulty theory of discipline. Um, it's one of the characteristics of his negative education. Um, formal discipline, he thought that um, discipline should come from natural consequences. So for example, if a child fell, uh, climbed a tree and fell from it, then he wouldn't attempt to do it again. So that's what he called discipline through natural consequences. And there are many who think that this type of discipline in today's society is not suitable and can be dangerous, but I think that just depends on the parenting and whatever. I mean, every parent has their own parenting style, so I think it just depends on the parent.